It's Monday, July 17th. I'm Scott Squires, and this is Saltwire Today. The dazzling opening ceremonies of the 2023 North American Indigenous Games celebrated Mi'kmaq culture and heritage with a variety of traditional dances, songs, and drumming. Last night, a jam-packed Scotiabank Centre welcomed nearly 5,000 athletes, managers, coaches, and mission staff to Nova Scotia for the largest multi-sport and cultural event ever hosted in Atlantic Canada. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was at the Canoe Kayak venue earlier today and spoke about the importance of the Games. But every single moment that we are here together, learning from each other, challenging from each other, we are growing, we are creating a better world. And uh, the, what I said last night about young people, these some Indigenous people carrying the future for all of us into the coming decades is so important inspiring and comforting as well because the incredible young people we see here today uh, being the future is in very good hands. The opening ceremonies were a powerful reminder of the rich and diverse culture of Indigenous peoples in North America. Saltwire has full coverage of the games at saltwire.com and saltwire socials. 20 Nova Scotia firefighters have arrived in Whitehorse to help fight the Takini Bridge wildfire. The fire is out of control and is estimated to be almost 1,600 hectares. The firefighters are expected to remain in the Yukon for two weeks to help contain the fire. The Yukon government has set up an incident command post to oversee the fire response and meals and accommodations will be provided for the out-of-territory firefighters. The Nova Scotia firefighters are trained and experienced in fighting wildfires and they are well equipped to assist the Yukon firefighters in their efforts to contain the fire. Francis Campbell has more on this at saltwire.com. Gas prices in Nova Scotia have skyrocketed, with the average driver now paying $12 to $14 more to fill an empty tank. The price increase is due to the federal carbon tax and the federal government's new clean fuel regulations. The carbon tax adds 14 cents per liter of gas and 17 cents to the price of a liter of diesel, and the clean fuel regulation add an additional 4 cents per liter of gas and 4 cents as well for diesel. Nova Scotians will receive payments of $248 every three months as part of the federal incentive rebate program designed to offset the cost of the carbon tax for most households. The first payments are expected to arrive this month. Saltwire's Francis Campbell has more on this story at saltwire.com. Looking to add a little pride to your summer local drink selections? Saltwire's Mark DeWolf recently interviewed Chain Yard Urban Cidery's Mike Lim about one of their new ciders. We've done quite a few events and, and supported Pride in Halifax for quite a few years, but we, we've never actually made a product um, that has been particular for Pride. So this was something we really wanted to do, and we wanted to ask our staff where the, uh, the portion of proceeds was going. So we asked them, and they came back with uh, Rainbow Refugee uh, Association in Nova Scotia, uh, which helps uh, place uh, refugees to Nova Scotia that are from the LGBTQ community okay. uh, into Nova Scotia. For more recipes, food and drink tips, and spotlights on local businesses, visit the Lifestyles Food and Drink section at saltwire.com and check out the Saltwire YouTube channel and saltwire.com's video selection for Mark's full video. Let's head north on Highway 102 to check in with our weather specialist, Alistair Alders, who's in Enfield. Alistair? Thanks, Scott. Well, it was a bit gloomy out here, certainly very humid. Once again, this very muggy air mass hasn't budged and unfortunately doesn't look like it will. In terms of sunshine for the week ahead, we won't see a lot of it, but there is some in the forecast. This evening, though, we'll have cloudy skies with showers or drizzle and, of course, some fog patches with the temperature near 22 and we don't move much overnight tonight. 20 is where we start on our Tuesday morning with cloudy skies. Showers and drizzle will end in the morning. Those fog patches will retreat to the coast. And then we'll have a mix of sun and cloud into our Tuesday afternoon. A hot and humid day, 28. It will feel like 36 when you factor in the humidity. You'll find relief along a south-facing coastline where directly on it the temperature will be closer to 20. We will see southwest winds tonight. 20 to 40 become light and then pick up again tomorrow afternoon. We then have a cold front that moves through Tuesday night through Wednesday. That will bring widespread showers, maybe even some embedded downpours and thunderstorms. However, this will not clear the humidity. It will still be sticking with us. However, we should see a bit of sunshine returning to the forecast on our Thursday. Scott. 
Thanks, Alistair. That's all for now. For more video, audio, and articles, stay tuned to saltwire.com. And of course, you can check us out on socials. I'm Scott Squires. Thanks for spending some time with Saltwire today. Let's meet again tomorrow. Turn off the noise. Tune in to what matters. What matters is information you can trust. What matters is the news you can use to make life's big decisions. Informed healthcare choices, casting the smart vote, or opening that business. What matters is understanding the world around you. Let Saltwire connect you to what matters with unlimited access to the information you need for only $20 for the first year. Become a member today.